good morning all welcome to our uh, third video on design of a mechatronic system a 3d printer so after the sensor selection i'm uh, going deep into the actuator selection so actuators uh, uh, as, as we have discussed there are three actuators three stepper motors expressed uh, stepper motors okay so the weight of the extruder uh, for uh, the motors to drive is considered to be approximately maximum it could be uh, to uh, 250 grams okay maximum speed of the xy is at axis motors is 15 rpm and the diameter of the shaft is 0 0.005 meters so this uh, 15 rpm is uh, uh, taken from uh, like 0.1 mm per second if you see the printing speed this would be given as a printing speed so for this uh, printing speed uh, the motor should uh, should drive at an, uh, a minimum of uh, 15 rpm okay so this uh, this varies uh, print to print uh, so you can increase this uh, printing speed in the uh, embedded softwares okay so calculate the, the maximum torque uh, needed to move the print bed okay this is our uh, thing so you should uh, calculate the force required to lift the 5 kg Oh, sorry uh, it's not uh, 5 kg it is 0 0.25 kg load okay so uh, force is considered to be uh, 0 0.25 into 9.81 so it is uh, 2.45 newton so the total torque is uh, calculated so this torque is the minimum torque uh, which is needed to drive the um, motor okay so the motors uh, which we uh, consider uh, for the design process should be uh, that uh, the torque should be greater than 0 0.0122 newton meters okay so if it is below uh, 0 0.0122 newton meters so uh, it will not uh, drive uh, the particular axis so i am considering stall torque you can uh, uh, calculate a, a rate of torque from uh, stall torque and you can even compare uh, uh, rated torque uh, for the design process okay now uh, 1 rpm uh, so 1 rpm is cons uh, converted into radians per uh, uh, second okay so you are getting 0 0.105 radians per second 1 rpm so for uh, 15 uh, revolutions per second uh, revolutions per minute you are calculating the radians per second okay then you are calculating the power and current drawn so current run for uh, 24 volt uh, supply is 0 0.8 milliamps so uh, if you if you see in the uh, um, motors which which are used in 3d printers it will be like uh, 1 ampere to 2.5 amperes so that is because uh, the sensor uh, uh, the gear train which is uh, used in the motors uh, consumes a large amount of current so this 0 0.8 uh, milliamps which is the minimum amount of uh, uh, current required is uh, uh, taken to 1 amps to uh, 2.5 amps okay so uh, this uh, stepper motor is uh, considered for, for uh, the design which is uh, NEMA 17 stepper motor NEMA is like uh, the uh, abbreviation of uh, National Electrical Manufacturers Association uh, the particular uh, uh, advantage of uh, this NEMA 17 motor is it allows to hold uh, the position even if the motor is not energized so that's why this type of motors is used in 3d printers this is the NEMA, uh, NEMA 17 uh, stepper motor which is available in the market so it can consumes as you can see in the specification 1.7 amps it consumes okay so specifications uh, the specification is uh, like uh, the same step angle is 1.8 uh, degrees holding torque is 59 newton centimeter it's like 0 0.59 newton meter okay so the rated uh, current per uh, phase is 2 amps recommended voltage is 12 to 24 volts so we are using uh, 24 volts okay so body length and shaft diameter and shaft length these are the specifications these are the common accessories which we are using which is a hoboded uh, gear and a cooling fan so hoboded gear will be commonly attached to the motor so uh, motor NEMA 17 NEMA 17 motor and uh, 
mm, okay this uh, gear would be ha having a belt okay so the belt would be uh, on this uh, teeth so that is how the motor uh, drives the cooling fan you can increase uh, as many accessories uh, so there are many accessories to uh, hold the print bed like a spring mm, okay uh, to adjust the uh, uh, thickness of the string you can have a uh, uh, like uh, yeah. yeah turning mechanism uh, to uh, turn the uh, uh, part you will turn this part and you will adjust the uh, thickness of the sorry uh, tension of the spring and things like that this is a, bo a Bowden uh, extruder uh, extruder which uh, we are using this in this uh, uh, in this setup in this design so this is the motor shaft so so behind this you, you have an extruder uh, motor so an ideal uh, gear and a pitch point more than uh, piece uh, sh shifting will have element in this okay okay this is mathematical modeling mathematical modeling is a technique a description of a system using mathematical concepts and language so the process of mathematical mod model is termed as mathematical modeling so these are the common uh, mathematical uh, methods techniques uh, which we are using so as far as uh, uh, 3d printers are considered so input parameters are temperature so as when the temperature uh, uh, of the print bed is uh, uh, up to the mark we will uh, start the printing process so dimensions of the object so we will uh, provide this using the SCL uh, 3d uh, file okay and then the output parameters the position of the x motor position of the y motor position of the sn motor position of the extruder motor which we are using if uh, we use this extruder motor then the position of the extruder motor also plays a major role so uh, in this uh, we does not uh, consider any mathematical models because uh, 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 because uh, we don't uh, need any complicated uh, mathematical uh, model for the des uh, design of this 3D printer. So I'm not uh, complicating this uh, uh, design. So, uh, so and another aspect of uh, thought process is like it's it's a step by step process. So it's not a uh, uh, parallel uh, process. Uh, so parallel process needs a. Uh, uh, more uh, equations relations uh, to uh, <coughs> to monitor the real time process but this is a uh, this is a sequential process so when uh, the temperature uh, uh, reaches uh, the particular uh, print of the uh, when the temperature of the particular uh, print bed reaches to uh, uh, specified value then the uh, motor is being actuated okay so actuated how much it actuates that depends on the print, uh, length of the print bed. Okay, so there there will will not be any relation between the temperature and the positions. Okay, so the, uh, the position is fixed. Okay, so the position of version if it is thirty cross thirty cross thirty, then uh, then thirty, then then you can uh, uh, then the dimensions of the print bed is fixed. Okay, so uh, so it does not depend on anything so if the, if, uh, if such in a case if uh, if the temperature raises to a particular value like uh, 50 if, if the size of the print bed increases then you can have a mathematical equation so in this case everything is a uh, seri serious uh, sorry everything works in a serial manner it does not work in a parallel manner so mathematical relations are negligible okay So control system uh, design uh, so this is a control uh, system uh, in, a, in, a, in any uh, design process so it is a plant so the sensors will be available uh, sensors output from the sensors will be uh, displayed in the scope then it will be converted into uh, digital and it will be given to the mic uh, controller or a computer then uh, then again it will be converted into analog signals okay then the function function generator will be available okay 
so these are the main uh, parts of the control controller or uh, control uh, system design so control algorithm and a model okay so this is a controller which we are using for this uh, 3d printer so as you have uh, seen already it is like a mega 1284p okay so the starting jerk of the motors is damped in the NEMA, NEMA stepper motor itself so uh, NEMA stepper motor takes care of uh, that so the controller doesn't uh, need to work on that so a PED controller is also uh, not uh, needed okay so this is the control algorithm so control algorithm the still file is given to the input uh, input uh, as input to the input software the print bed is uh, heated to a certain temperature as you can see then the xy motors are actuated and the limit points are sensed okay then the uh, insert motor is actuated and the uh, print bed le level is checked in this uh, the proximity sensor works proximity sensor works and the proximity sensor are uh, uh, determines the closeness of the print bed okay then the center part of the print bed is detected and the printing process is started this is step number five and if the temperature is below the set temperature the heater of the print bed is set on if there is any error, any error in the print process then obviously it has to go to the home position then if the printing process is completed then the extruder set to the home position okay this is the control algorithm <laughs> then uh, hardware in loop simulation would be uh, as i said uh, in the uh, previous slides it is a, it is not a uh, parallel process okay so hardware in loop simulation is not used so again uh, uh, why, why, uh, what is the purpose of the hardware in loop sim uh, simulation it is used to uh, it is a type of real time simulation it is used to test your controller or tune your controller okay Okay, so this uh, simulation how you, uh, shows how your con uh, controller responds in real time. So as far as uh, this uh, uh, 3D printers are cons considered, so uh, it uh, we uh, we are not in a need to design a, uh, or uh, sorry uh, or test to uh, test our controller because the controller uh, the only thing of the controller is to maintain the sequence. So as we maintain the control algorithm as we have seen in the control algorithm it has to maintain the control algorithm okay so deployment of uh, embedded software so embedded software is a piece of software that is embedded in the hardware or non pc devices okay so uh, so as far as this uh, 3d printer is considered so the embedded software is a creo sorry a cura uh, cura 3.0 software and the stl file is developed with the creo software so these are the references which i have considered so a final summary final summary we have uh, uh, the final design is like uh, we have to use uh, sensors like uh, limit switches proximity sensor and temperature sensor of the particular uh, range okay so the uh, particular sensor uh, limits uh, switches proximity sensor and temperature sensor are, are selected depending on the range okay then the actuators so we calculated the torque and the minimum torque uh, should be satisfied uh, by any uh, uh, motor which we choose and NEMA 17 stepper motors are the ones which is commonly used in 3D printers mm, and which also satisfies the uh, minimum uh, uh, torque requirement. So extruder is uh, selected to be Bowden extruder and the controller is Mega 1284P controller okay modeling software is creo software which uh, which can also vary so creo software you can uh, uh, model depending on your uh, uh, requirement then the embedded software is cura 3.0 software okay. this is our final design so thank you thanks for listening if you have any queries please uh, comment in the comment section below. Thank you.